Alright, um, you guys cannot see me very well. I can't see the camera very well. Um, but this is how to start your um, cleaning your cage process. So begin first off by removing your guinea pig into a playpen or the way how you're going to move your guinea pig out of the cage. So make sure the guinea pig is not in the cage. So right now I'm going to go do that. And you guys, um, I'll try to adjust the camera so you guys can see the playpen I'm creating right now. It's that rainbow thingy back there. And also move your cage to where you're going to um, clean your cage. Um, I'm going to do it right in front so you guys can see. Just let you know these lights right here are battery powered. Which is not a thing. Yeah. Alright, so now let me adjust the camera. That's okay. So I'm going to put my cage right here or peanuts cage really and now you guys can watch me fix the playpen back here yeah I know but what you going back in here ah! sorry the bar fell <laughs> And this, um, I always end up having an extra panel, so I'll just put that on my bed, which is very, very messy. And also just to make sure, Peanut doesn't really try to escape, so it's okay for my guinea pig. If you think your guinea pig's going to do it, um, try to push it, um, I would... Uh, put it all the way, try to connect it somehow. This um, rainbow one is really tiny. Um, but basically, I just put this right here and I put something to balance it on, like my heater. But I did not turn on the heater because then sometimes he will put his hand on it and it could burn him to death. Alright, so my guinea pig's still in this cage. So right now, I'm going to take him out of his cage and put him in the enclosure I just made for him. Now I'm gonna go double check my cage that I just did for him, because there might be an opening or two. So there's an opening right here that I need to fix. But I will do that with this whiteboard. This is my schedule, sort of. It's going to start. So then you can just add things on, like I could have just done this, but I'm going to do both. So that's what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to take out my guinea pig. So now that I got my guinea pig out of his cage, I'm going to go put him in his enclosure I just made for him. All 
All right, so Peanut is now in this enclosure, and he's like a very tiny, tiny, tiny person. Now, I'm just going to fix this area with that I fix. Now, I'm just going to watch him just to make sure the um, enclosure I just made for him is secure. Um, so, the second step is to remove all the things like toys, dishes, salt blocks, um, salt blocks, houses, G toys, and just simply having your cage out. Um, j don't do the bedding or the fleece yet. So, put it in the enclosure your guinea pig or small animal is in. It'll just make them more cozy and it won't make them stressed out. So, I'm going to put his food in there too. It's okay for me. For me, I'm not saying for you either. Um, it's okay for him on the carpet because then I can take this, my ladybug broom I got from the dollar store. You can get these from the dollar store too, just letting you know. Um, and it's easily to sweep up anything on the floor. So yeah. Peanut will jump up on those bars, but he will never jump out. He's just a guinea pig that doesn't like to do that. Um, Alright. So when I cleaned out my guinea pig's cage, I should have done this before. Um, there's poop on these things. Uh, so always run water in them at the end. So put those in the guinea pig cage, too. I like to spread mine out so that he can be in different places. Now I'm going to put this thing that I'm going to put on my wall soon, right where that little opening was in his thing. Just so, just so that he can't get out. Um, so now let me fix my computer right now. Alright, so now I log back in and you can kind of see him. So there he is getting out of his cage. So he likes to explore. I don't put hay down on the ground because that's really, really messy. Don't try that at home. Just, if you do, you're expected to clean up a gigantic mess. Alright, so let me move this back. Alright, so now you can see this better, uh, more thoroughly. Alright, so I need to finish getting that stuff out. So this is a salt block. He finished his last one. And I gave this to him uh, right before Christmas break. So about three weeks ago, I think. Yeah, about three weeks ago. Now, um, if you have a storm out cage, um, you, you should have an opening like this. If you don't, just do it inside. So just do this with your fleece. So just put this, and you can shake it out. And also you can do this too, just to make sure all the poops, um, so they don't get on the ground. Um, you can take your brush, or your mini broom, and just brush that out. And also you can put it in your guinea pig's cage, if you want. I always put it in there, just so it um, makes it feel like home. So I have bulldog clips, or binder clips, if you, whatever you want to call them, these thingies. Um, to pull down his, uh, baby blanket. It's a baby blanket that my mom gives me. Like the old ones that we don't want to keep anymore. Now, they make fine, uh, bedding liners. But the only thing is that they, they will stain really easily. So, once you do that, if you have a throwback cage, um, you can do this with CNC cages too because you know it's open. So, I have a chip right here. And I can pull this out, and I'm just going to get the fleece right here. Oh, what? Sorry, I just pushed the ball on the thingy. Oh, oh it's out. Alright, so after that, I'm just going to push this back in and move it up to the top. Now, if I drop a few poops, I do not like to keep them on the ground. I'm just going to sweep them up and get them in here. Now. It's not the prettiest thing you need to see every day. Um, so
So then, we're going to get a bag. I always have a trash bag out. I only keep it in my room for about two days, and then I throw it out. Um, which will be about four times to clean out your cage. Alright, so after that, we're gonna, you can put this aside now. Or not put it aside yet, um, but soon. Just so I have my brush again. I don't know. It's a ladybug. Again, just letting you know. Um, so now I'm just going to do this. I shake it out first before I brush it. that done. There's a gigantic stain on there that you can see where he's peed before. So I'm going to put that back. Just put it somewhere where, where um, his stuff is. Um, a lot of people use towels underneath their final fleece or something, whatever you want to call it. Um, I use a pillowcase. Pillowcases will work fine. They won't absorb it as good as towels would, but I am going to switch to towels as soon as I get my CNC cage. And if that will be a long time, I'm just going to go on to towels. Um, he used to be on a towel. I might switch it um, up. I have one in my closet right now. I have a bit of blankets. Or might be, I don't know. I'll find it. Um, so again, this one is the messiest one. So move it up like that. And then just take this brush, just do that, and then you're going to do the same thing over again. So that wasn't so messy because they already cleaned out his cage. Alright, so this is his very, very messy cage. So I'm just going to take my brush, you can close this now if you want, I always close it, so I don't need to use it anymore. You guys may see these corners, which are really, really disgusting. He did that right when he first came home with me, and he peed on the corners, and they stained his um, thing, and he would step on his poop and grind it up with his claws, and and he'd pee on it and then do it again and it got stuck to it. So now I can't get it off and I've done it outside before and it will not come off. Uh, so, yeah. So as soon as you sweep it up, so you're going to sweep it up and then you're going to pick it up. But now you got to watch part two. Mm. Alright, so after this. Commercials! Web cameras! Done! The guinea pig good. Food. Don't let the guinea pig starve. Don't let the guinea pig starve, Bobby. So now he's noisy. Alright. So please watch part two.